As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Luke 9, 57 and 58. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. Thank you, Lord, for your word and grace upon this word this morning, for training us in righteousness this morning, that you, Jesus, are our Lord. And I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. <laughs> Lord, that's a hard one to get out this morning. I've been struggling with this message this morning. You probably hear the coffee going down. And at any, <laughs> at any rate, I'm feeling a little silly this morning. But uh, you know, for the longest time, I think one of the one of the longest running words I've been hearing from the Lord off and on is that my walk is different than others. I, I walk a path that most others don't walk. And uh, I'm starting to see that, uh, you know, there's a lot of rejection in, in, the, in the places we walk. And especially if we choose, and we have to make a choice here to walk with Jesus, to stand alone if that's what it takes. The prophets, we'll, we'll talk about Jeremiah, he was beaten, he was, he was stuck in a, a well, in a cage. Because of his testimony. He was rejected, although God called him to the nations. Uh, Ezekiel. What, I mean, the things he had to go through. These were contemporary prophets, but whenever a person has a word from God, the enemy comes in and tries to kill it. Look at all the, all the um, abortions in the world nowadays. The enemies come in and... and and literally snuffed out millions of lives uh, via a lie. And and he will try and snuff you out and make you stand alone that, that even the closest people around you will reject you. And I'm beginning to see some of that in my own life and feel it in my own life. And, and, and I'm beginning to question that. We don't have a place to lay our heads sometimes. Jesus hung on the cross. He was all alone. The Garden of Gethsemane, he was all alone. And what I mean by all alone for Jesus was a lot higher level than, than I'm going through. But uh, we need to see sometimes that our walks, are we are going to be alone. Are we strong enough to stand? Do we have the will and the desire to stand if God calls us to stand alone. And we need to begin to make a decision about how we're going to walk. Do we want to walk like everybody else? Just to be liked by everybody else. I could be a pew sitter if I wanted to and be liked by everybody else. And just always say the right thing. I really feel this morning it's important for us to know that there are going to be times when we're going to be walking alone, especially if we make a decision for righteousness. And it's not easy. It is not easy, and we need to understand that, that our walk in the Lord isn't always going to be easy. The walk for Jesus wasn't easy. The walk for the apostles wasn't easy. The walk for the disciples was not easy. How easy was it for Jesus to say, hey, I'm going to be lifted up, and when I'm lifted up, I'm going to draw all men unto me. And he was talking about his crucifixion. How easy was it for him when he was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane and he said, Father, if at all possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. John the Baptist, his ministry must increase and mine must decrease. His life in me must increase. My own life must decrease. Sometimes we have to stand alone. We have to make a conscious decision and decide how we're going to walk. Are we going to walk righteously in Him? Or are we going to be pretenders? 
Now, I believe there's people watching this, and sometimes we get on the fence about things. But we have to make a decision for Christ. Let me go bury my parent, my my father. Jesus, what did he say? Let the dead bury the dead. Let me go say goodbye to my parents. <laughs> We sometimes we make excuses and we got to stop making excuses we got to begin to start stepping out even if it means we're gonna walk alone this walk isn't always an easy walk it isn't always a piece of cake narrow is the path but God is gonna make our paths straight if we trust in him He's going to take us to that place if we trust in Him. If we humble ourselves before Him, He will take us to that place. It's not me against them. It's not you against them. It's God with us. Against the flow. <laughs> and and, and I, I see that more and more that you know, some of the things I have to say people aren't going to accept because it's it's not going to be the easy way. It's not going it's going to be contrary to what they're thinking. And sometimes it's going to actually be my flesh. And that's all right because I'm in I'm I'm in school. Let the Holy Spirit train you for righteousness and for righteousness sake you'll have to stand alone. Are you willing to do that? Are you sometimes willing to be beaten down, hung up? <laughs> you know, uh, I thought about this last night. About Judas Iscariot, I mean, he betrayed Christ. Are you willing to have people betray you? Because we can't put our trust in man. Jesus knew the heart of those around him, and he didn't trust him himself to them and we have to begin to recognize that that there are people that are going to betray us there's people with good intentions that could end up derailing our walk just like Peter said no one's going to do anything to you Lord what did Jesus say get the hands behind me there are times that we are going to walk alone There are going to be times when God's going to give you a revelation and you're going to begin to step out in that revelation and you're going to meet a brick wall. And very few will hear that message. Are you willing to walk that path? My, my flesh wants to be popular. <laughs> my thinking wants to be popular, but... I'm I'm seeing more and more that I'm I'm called for something that not too many people are going to do and I will get rejected. What about you? I just want to say thank you for coming and sitting with me this morning and listening to me preach. <laughs> it's not an easy walk. Let's not pretend that it is. But it's the only way to life is through Jesus. It isn't through what we can do or what we don't do. It's through Jesus. And not everybody's called to the hard walk. Some are, some are called to be pew sitters. If you're called to be a pew sitter, then fine. Be there. I don't want to be there. I want to do more with my walk. I want to allow the Holy Spirit to move and give my movement being. I'm moving. I just want to say thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace. For for those who have a desire to be more than pew sitters, Lord God. More than those who walk in fear. But we live courageously and boldly in you, Lord God. That we would speak life over others. That we would give our life for others. Because you've called us to that. And we would release over others your hope, your life, your grace. 
now in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. Get along with the Lord. Begin to seek Him. <laughs> Begin to thank Him. Let that thanksgiving be turned into praise and step out in faith and become worship. You worship God, must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Decide this day whom you will serve. Step across the chicken line. Get off the fence. If you're called to do something, begin to step out in faith and allow the Holy Spirit to move through you. Even if you're making mistakes, you're doing something. Get out there and do it. Don't allow the fear of man to stop you. Don't allow the fear of what others might say to stop you. It's not you against them. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Don't take the fight to the enemy, but when the enemy comes, smash him. Glory! <laughs> but begin to trust your ways into the Lord, and He will set your path straight. He will keep your feet on solid ground. Glory. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't done. <laughs> I just want to praise the Lord right now. I just thank Him <laughs> for this morning's word. Be blessed today, and we'll see you soon. Bye.